Hey there guys, Nathan here with another Leap Chess update. So, I think it's been two weeks or so since I brought out the last video, and you can probably see there's been a few more changes. So to start off with, the environment is now more portally, I think I'd describe it as. Uh, it's a lot cleaner, it's less dark, and um, yeah, it's pretty much that. Um, the menu selection now is these two cubes here. So this one controls the camera going in and out, and you just hover over it to enable. This one here controls the menu. I'll bring that up. Unfortunately, even though I like this menu, it is going to have to change just because of the new Leap Airspace guidelines they're bringing out. So there's a certain type of menu you've got to use, which I'm still waiting on, called Freeform. And you can look that up and how it works on your own. Um, would much prefer to keep this, but won't be able to get anything on the Airspace store if I do. So I'm thinking I am going to release a VR-only version, which will basically not have that toggle VR button, and will have this menu still, for those that still like this and can like just reach out and touch things to change it. Um, and yeah, what else has changed? Um, when your hand moves below the board now, instead of the board going transparent, which was jarring to people, there's just an indicator that comes up showing where the hand is, which, yeah, works pretty well. And, um, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all the changes that there are so far. I've got a title screen kind of going, but not quite ready yet, so I'll show that probably in the next video. And, um, yeah, I'll just swap to VR mode. Have a bit of a look around, and then I'm wondering, there's not really anything anywhere, you don't have a body, because that's really just a pain in the ass, especially since it's just a floating head you've got. And, um, yeah, I'll just, I don't have the headset on, so this might be a bit weird playing. But, yeah, that's pretty much all the new things in the latest build. Um, feel free to close the video now if you want. I'm just going to play through this and deliberately lose. Just because in the last video some people wanted to see the robot move a bunch of different pieces so hopefully I'll do that over the course of the video. Or I'll just take that. Up to him. But uh, yeah. It's actually surprising to see how many people can't quite get the depth perception of the hand, mainly when it's in the 2D screen. I haven't really had anyone try it yet with the VR enabled. But uh, yeah, definitely a design issue to think about for when designing things like this and probably be applicable to control VR as well. People not quite understanding how far away things are. So, uh, yeah, I'll actually quickly just put the difficulty up so he'll actually take my uh, king because on lower difficulties he'll wait a while and not actually do anything, so that's annoying. Let's lose the queen, why not? And, um, yeah, so this, I can guarantee this will be out by the end of the month. So, 1st of August is the deadline. Whoa, that's gotten laggy. Let me see what causes that. Do that later. So, yeah, see, there's probably still some optimizations that could be made. I'll just move this king forward and lose. Yeah, I need to change this text here because the font's good, but the color with the new room is clearly wrong, which is the first time I've actually played it through to a checkmate before, so I haven't actually noticed it. But yeah, I might make that maybe a cyan thing, or maybe a dark blue. Anyway, that's all for the video. We'll catch you all later.